Hey Rob on Entertainment Talk Nation, how you doing? And yeah, I just saw your latest video. Um, when you're telling others, like your whole entire like thoughts on like you know how well this movie would do even after it gets released. Um, my basic question to you is: Would someone really tell you that when you know? this film, Godzilla, gets released, that it would turn out to be three or four stars, what would be everybody's reaction? Another uh, comment I have to add, as a video comment, <laughs> how do, how come there's not that many Godzilla fans like me out there, like, I'm probably like the oldest one, because... Not only was I brought up in the 80s, I grew up watching all the Godzilla films. I knew everything about them. I saw the Godzilla vs. this vs. that, all the remakes, uh, the 1985 film, like you mentioned in your other video. That was the very first Godzilla I've seen when I was a child, and I really enjoyed that. Scary beginning at first, you know, of the opening credits. But after that, I'm just it just amazed me, you know, the the way I I just grew up knowing that there's like a friendly monster out there. That I, no, I really know that as I grew up as an adult, there's no monster that can exist like that in nature. I understand that. Yeah, after nuclear fallout, what would happen on an unboard? Uh, Let's say, for an example, uh, an iguana's egg that's unborn would it be exposed to radiation. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. But it's not going to be out that big, like, for crying out loud. Like, you know, let's look at reality here. This just cannot happen, period. I know there's a lot of, like, conspiracy theories out there, like, you know, life on other planets. That's not really a conspiracy theory, Rob. That just means that we're not alone in the universe. Common sense is agnosticism. So we got to get our, you know, terms right. Uh, but in other words, I love what you had to say about these movies. And it surprises me statistically. There's no more Godzilla fans out there. You got to be shitting me. Like, come on. There has to be... Maybe it's not educated. Maybe it, not that many people know about, like, these things, especially when they learn about film history in their schools or whatnot. They should, like, you know... Something called film appreciation, which I know you know of and I know of, and a lot of other people know of that actually try to... um you know, go in that field, so to speak. But I know I'm not 100% in the field, even though I've had heard in my past that, yeah, I make a good movie director from my brother, but that was only when he came to this photography class in 2003 that um, I had to do for McFadder. Besides that, That's all I can really think of. But, you know, I am a writer. I have used to write a lot of screenplays, but fortunately, you know, it wasn't that easy for me. After what happened to me in 2010, after a car crash and my parents threatened to <laughs> destroy my screenplays afterwards, thinking that, you know, that they didn't like that I wasn't talking to them anymore after they embezzled my money behind my back, my settlement money behind my back, into an investment company, which is a different story. But I'm not going to go into details with my personal life, with what happened to me. I'm just going to say that in order for a film to really succeed like this one, it's going to take a lot of effort. <laughs>